الحمد لله الذي أنزل على أبيه الكتاب وحلم يجعل الله إواج أكمده سبحانه وتعالى وأشكره وهو أهل الحمد والثناء وأشهد أن لا إله إلا وده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد نبي الرسول ومستقر على هم سالم وسالم على ذكر رسولك محمد وأهله وصحبه وسلم الحمد لله بلا مين بتنك الله ومائي and there is no words that could praise Allah or to describe Allah and the closest thing we could say is Allah Akbar and Allah is the greatest but even saying Allah Akbar is a drop in praising Allah Almighty and that Allah Akbar uh, the the heavens and the earth cannot even contain just if one just all day long just said Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar it, it would be enough for everything but the the shaitan, the our egos, uh, is forever uh, thinking about our our bodies, and so uh, we forget about our souls. This is a very this is Yom Juma, and tonight is Layla to Juma, uh, the the night of. Juma, uh, tonight a very, very powerful night. Heavenly powers, heavenly treasures, uh, giving much, much power. And Shaitan, uh, of course, does not uh, want us to be uh, conscious and aware of what Allah Almighty is inviting us to, so he's going to uh, distract us, uh, distract us. That's his, uh, that's his, uh, uh, that's his purpose to see if he, who we can distract. And Allah says, anyone he is that is being distracted by Shaitan will be distracted along with Shaitan. Shaitan will be distracted. Uh, Shaitan will be confused. Uh, Shaitan will be lost. Uh, Shaitan will be left uh, to dunya. And those whom they are not listening and realizing that Allah Almighty is forever, forever giving. Each second, each minute, each hour, each day, each week, each year, there are different energies, different personalities. Look at the greatness of Allah Almighty. We all come here through a mother and we're all being formed, different fingerprints, different shapes and sizes, and even different personalities and different sounds of our voices. Allah Almighty has us all Categorized, Allah Almighty has us all uh, organized. Allah knows who is who, where are they coming from, what they are doing, where they are going, who shall they send to this one for this, who should they send to that one for that. Allah is always orchestrating and always creating in the midst of every second. And shaitan hates that Allah Almighty uh, brought us here to be his deputies. Every one of us is held responsible for our existence. Don't look to anyone other than yourself to be responsible. 
The responsibility is not on anyone but ourselves. And we're never taking responsibility. If you understood the weight that you have on you, because Allah Almighty has allowed you and myself to be in existence, you would cry more than you laugh. You would cry more than you laugh. And your days you will not take so lightly. It won't be so easy to forget about Allah Almighty when you know that you cannot carry the burden of this life without Allah Almighty. The angels, may Allah be pleased with them, they carry the throne of Allah Almighty. And it's a heavy burden. They don't eat, they don't sleep, they don't drink. All that they do is zikrullah. That is the power that gives them power to carry the throne of Allah Almighty. Idris, may Allah be pleased with him. He used to pray and says, oh my Lord, oh Allah, give more power to the angels so they may carry your throne. Let them to praise you more to gain more power. And those angels said, oh, Allah Almighty, one of your servants is praying for us to lighten our burden of carrying your throne. Please bring that one up so we may uh, see and be with that one. Allah brought him up and he came into paradise. And besides Esau ibn Maryam, he is in paradise with his physical body refusing to come back. So the power of what we have given, been given. And we think all the time. What are we thinking about when we're thinking? Just think. If we think on our Lord to give us so much power. But Shaitan is distracting us and having us to think of some petty nonsense to keep us only thinking of ourselves in this world. Thinking only of this carcass, of this physical body, that when that soul leaves, it's going to stink. Anytime we're not remembering Allah Almighty, we are beginning to stink. We already are starting to die. The average person may not smell that stench coming from us because we're walking around, but the angels are smelling it. Allah Almighty is smelling it. Those whom Allah Almighty has put in authority over us are smelling that stench coming from us because <clears throat> When we're not remembering Allah Almighty, we are dying. That soul is leaving the body. <clears throat> we never forget about to eat. We'll be smacking and munching all dog on day. We got fast food places on every corner. Restaurants everywhere. So much food that we're wasting. So much food that our Bodies are disfigured. Just think, if we had that same kind of mentality that we remember to eat our breakfast, our lunch, or our dinner, or our snacks, to remember to feed our souls, things will be changed overnight. Our thinking opens up those secrets of the heavens to change your life. That's why we cannot give excuses. There are no such thing as excuses. The Quran, when the Quran came, there's no such word that says excuses. There's no doubt in it. There is no such thing as an excuse. That's something Shaitan gave our ego to keep us from being obedient servants to Allah Almighty. Because everyone has equal access to Allah Almighty. 
Everyone comes here with that power of Allah Almighty in them.